Hello everyone. Uh, have you ever been surfing online and been hit with a frenzy of ads just like that? Or are you getting sick of every time you go to a website and they ask you about cookies? Yes, we all love cookies, but probably not the ones that they're talking about, right? We know what they're looking for. They're looking for that data. Well, today I'm going to be talking about a product, an effective tool out there that you can use to stop a lot of that. And you can actually use it for free or they have a premium version just like anything else out there that offers a lot of tools. So the tool I'm talking about is Adblock Plus. And if you've never heard of this before, an ad blocker is essentially something that you install into your browser. It's an extension, right? A little puzzle piece. We've talked about extensions a few times. And what it's supposed to do is basically block ads. Now, this one has been around for a while. It's not new. It's been around for some time. In fact, the original origin of it, it was created back in 2002 as a side project for Firefox, right? We all know the browser Firefox. I talk about it a lot on here. It's my favorite browser. It's the one I usually recommend to people. And Adblock Plus is the ad blocker that not only my computer works recommends, but also that I would recommend just based off seeing it in action because what it does is things like blocking HTML uh, elements, right? So th these are new features that over time grew. It didn't always have that, but it does things like blocking HTML elements, hiding ads on a per site basis, which is nice. So instead of just globally blocking everything, you can choose what websites that it blocks specifically. And it also does things like blocks background images, which, um, that amongst many other features makes it useful right there, right? Because again, how many times have we been like on a website and we've seen a, uh, a pop up out of nowhere that we don't want to see or some sort of supposed to be like relevant ad to us popping up on the website that gets really annoying or sometimes even um, the ad sites, the background images like it's talking about. So uh, to put it simply, it blocks a lot of the garbage, right? So when you're cruising around online, you see a lot of garbage, you see a lot of advertisements. You see a lot of things that you didn't go online to see. Adblock Plus is essentially supposed to stop those things. That's what it's there for. So the first thing you want to do is, to get it, if you want to get it for yourself, is go to www.adblockplus.org. I'll have that down in the description of the video. And once you get there, you can just hit on the Get Adblock Plus for Chrome or Edge or Safari, whatever browser you're in at the time. That's what it will say. And you're just going to hit the add extension option when it comes up and that'll follow up. It'll be up at the top and you want to get that extension installed into the browser. Now, a lot of people get nervous when they see this next part, right? There's like a donation page or a uh, go for the premium, kind of like <laughs> their own advertisement, right? Kind of funny. It's an ad blocker, but they have their own advertisement, of course, right? Because they need to make money. They need to be able to uh, continue making this project. It's kind of like Wikipedia, right? When you go to Wikipedia, sometimes they'll ask you for donations from time to time. Uh, you know, they make money on their premium, but that's it. That and the donations is it. But uh, so you could like just tip them a dollar or two and then never have to give them money again. Or you can decide to go with the premium, which obviously, you know, you pay either uh, monthly or annually annual fee, which isn't bad. And one of the features I really like about it is that if you have the premium, like I mentioned earlier, those websites you go to that are always asking you about your cookies. Well, this automatically re rejects all the cookies that are not necessary for the website, right? So sometimes the website has necessary cookies. You're going to have to just eat that and, and <laughs> accept the fact that those are going to be accepted. But the strict, the not, the, it'll usually say strictly necessary and not necessary cookies. The tool, the Adblock Plus Premium will automatically just choose to block everything that's not necessary for you, which is awesome. Because if you're like me, I go in there every time and I, uh, I I uncheck what's not needed and I only choose to do what's strictly necessary because why give them any more than what's strictly necessary? So that's kind of nice, but even the free version is is totally fine and usable and awesome for blocking a lot of stuff that, that uh, you don't want. Now, I will make this little uh, note comment here that I think is important. Once you install it, I would recommend jumping over to YouTube. I always do this for my clients in the browser that you installed it in, jump over to YouTube and turn it off, right? So we talked about that site control earlier. You can choose to block some sites and not block others. This is a perfect example. YouTube, they don't allow you to have a, an ad blocker. I know there are some out there and people are probably going to put down in the comments, you will use this one. And yeah, okay. 
that's not what we're talking today. We're talking about Adblock Plus. That's the one we're talking about. And for that one, for YouTube at the moment, you have to turn it off, which is no big deal because like us, you know, content creators and other content creators on YouTube, the ads is how not only we make money, but YouTube makes money to help the site going, right? So you can't have everything in life for free. So just watching a five second ad, even if you just hit skip after helps YouTube out a lot and it helps the content creators out a lot. So that's why they don't want you blocking all the ads on YouTube. If you want ad control on YouTube, pay for premium. That's why they have premium and that's how YouTube makes money and that's how they improve the site. And that's how they pay their creators, the content creators on there. So please think about that before you go putting in an ad blocker that's going to block all the YouTube ads that need to be seen for content creator, YouTube to make money, etc. right? So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe down below and the notify button on our channel so you can keep up with the videos as they release. So thank you everyone and we will see you next time.